Hello, Richmond High School students and staff. On Monday, we have a national holiday for Dr. Martin Luther King and celebrating his life. Dr. Martin Luther King, an American activist and prominent leader in the civil rights movement, is best known for his role in the advancement of social justice and equality for all using nonviolent methods. Dr. King's life mission was to make a difference and to change the world in order to serve others by treating all people, every human being, with respect and dignity as a priority. It took an unbelievable amount of self-control that Dr. King and his followers portrayed during the Civil Rights Movement in the 1960s, which showed their courage to always do the right thing for others. We are still discovering the true meaning of our democracy today and the dream that Dr. King challenged us all to make a reality. Democracy is not some high plateau that we struggle to reach so we can finally settle down to rest. Democracy is an act and a series of actions that require us to continuously verify our commitment to civil rights, social justice, and to live together in peace and nonviolence.
students and staff, at this time, we will hear some words from Mr. Carl Reinhardt, an Earlham College grad, and also with Future Achievers of Richmond, who has been helping our students here at RHS. Everyone, please welcome Mr. Carl Reinhardt. Don't let this day be just another day off. I bet if you are watching this video, you can think of two or three things in this community or world that needs to change for the better. What are you willing to do to make an impact? Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was 15 years old when he went to college after graduating high school. I read that he was around 12 years old when he started teaching other young people how to protest. What is your excuse as to why you have not done something? Everyone may not be able to stand up in front of a thousand people and call out the wrong in the world, but maybe we don't have to. Dr. King also taught about love and how only love can drive out hate. Think about the ways people are treated badly, about how they look, who they're in a relationship with, where they live, because they are struggling with addiction, because they have been in jail or prison, or because they have a physical or learning disability, or because their family doesn't have very much money. The worst actions are rooted in fear and hate. And these types of actions are happening today in our community, just like when Dr. King was alive and fighting for justice and equality. So just like Dr. King, let us use our voice and take action against the hate, mistreatment, injustice that we see happening around us. Start with every day choosing to love other people instead of ignoring or hating them. Even if you don't know them, say hi or compliment, just acknowledge them in some way. Take time to learn about other people and the way they live and their culture. If you have questions about something that another person is doing or saying, ask them about it in a polite way and listen as they tell you what they think or feel. Be willing to help others that you see having a hard time. Use your resources and privilege to help other people that may be struggling in a way that you are not. Or use your experience to help others that are dealing with the situation that you have dealt with. If you feel strongly about something that is wrong in your community and you have the ability to help, take action. Be like some of your peers that have organized demonstrations to speak out against injustice and to speak up for others or start a business to help your peers find jobs and create opportunities for them to showcase their talents. Volunteer and help those in need or help take care of our environment, picking up trash in the parks and around the neighborhood. Sometimes we get confused and do the wrong thing thinking that we are actually doing right. So remember that love is patient, love is kind, Love is not jealous. Love doesn't cause us to think that we are better than everyone else. Love does not find happiness in doing bad things, but celebrates the truth and, is, and, and what is good. Love always protects, trusts, hopes, and perseveres. Use this day to learn more about Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., his dream, and what he worked and gave his life for. Think about what is important to you and what your community needs and take action. If nothing else, commit to love others every day and not just on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Because love is all we need to truly make a difference. I dream a world where man, no other man will scorn, where love will bless the earth and peace's paths adorn. I dream a world where all will know sweet freedom's way, where greed no longer saps the soul, nor advice blights our day. A world I dream where black or white, whatever race you be, will share the bounties of the earth and every man is free. 
where wretchedness will hang its head, and joy, like a pearl, attends the needs of all mankind. Of such I dream my world. Students and staff, as we honor and celebrate Martin Luther King on Monday, may we all be reminded of his great dream. A dream of a vibrant, multiracial nation united in social justice, peace, nonviolence, love, and forgiveness. A nation that does not judge you by the color of your skin, but by the content of your character. As Dr. King said, we need to commit ourselves to the noble struggle for equal rights for everyone. You will make a greater person of yourself, a greater nation of our country, and a finer world to live in. In the spirit of Dr. King, who believed that life's most persistent question was, what are you doing for others? What are we doing for others? I ask that you celebrate Dr. King this Monday by finding a way to serve others. Thank you.